beautiful Italian region of Tuscany is one of the most charming places on earth. It has spectacular old towns, famous vineyards and picturesque landscape with rolling hills. Hi guys, my name is Rock and I spent last 8 years traveling around Europe as a tour guide and I want to show you some of the most beautiful places in Tuscany. We're starting with a surprising place, Elba Island. It is often overlooked that Tuscany also includes Mediterranean islands. Elba is part of National Park of the Tuscany Archipelago and is known for unspoiled nature and beautiful beaches. You can choose between cliffs, rocks or sandy beaches that makes Elba a perfect holiday destination. Elba also has interesting history as it was used as a prison island for famous French military and political leader Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon conquered almost the entire Europe, but then got defeated in 1814 and was exiled to the island of Elba by European leaders. In Porto Ferraio you can visit Napoleon's residence where he lived until he escaped from Elba and returned to power. Next, we're looking at the most picturesque countryside in Tuscany, two famous wine regions Chianti and Brunello. They are defined by Tuscan rolling hills covered with vineyards where they produce famous high-quality red wines. This is just heaven on earth for traveling around on a bicycle, in a car or on a motorbike. Windy roads between vineyards are passing charming old towns on the top of the rolling hills. You can easily make a stop in every town as they are all very charming, beautiful and full of history. Here you can find numerous wineries and if you're looking for a good bottle of red wine, this is as good as it gets. Just remember not to drink and drive. We are moving to one of the most impressive medieval walled villages, Monte Rigioni. This defensive fortification on a strategic position was built by the city of Siena during the time of great rivalry between Siena and Florence. The intact fortified walls have 14 towers and you can take a walk on the 800 years old walls. These walls were successfully defended for more than 300 years. But then Siena made a terrible mistake. They put in charge of a garrison a man that had been exiled from Florence. This man simply handed the keys of the fort over to the Florentine army that walked inside the walls without a fight. Next on my list is the most spectacular medieval skyline of San Gimignano. This hill town is crowned with the most incredible stone towers from 12 and 1300s. These medieval stone-made skyscrapers were a symbol of wealth that was generated by the world's most costly spice by weight, saffron. In medieval times, rolling hills around the town were place of cultivation of this prestigious flower. Generated wealth was used to build safe, hard-to-access tower houses for wealthy families as Middle Ages in Tuscany were turbulent times. These days, you can climb on the top of the towers to get a unique view over Tuscan countryside. San Gimignano is still encircled by medieval town walls that help to preserve the town like it's from a time capsule. The heart of this town is 13th century main square surrounded by towers. There is also a 12th century cathedral with incredible frescoes. But it's worth visiting this place just to taste the best gelato in the world as on the main square you can find not one but two gelato places that won the official best gelato title. If you wonder what else to do in this medieval Manhattan, check out my things to do in San Gimignano video in the top right corner. Siena sits on three Tuscan hills and is still surrounded by greatly preserved medieval fortified wall. The town is filled with great examples of Gothic architecture where houses, palaces and churches survived almost intact. The heart of Siena is its unique, shell-shaped town square with beautiful town hall and impressive tower that offers wonderful view of Tuscan rolling hills. Unique Town Square also hosts world-famous Palio Horse Race. Despite the fact that it was never completed, Siena has one of the most striking cathedrals in Italy. 
Inside and out, this 13th century cathedral is filled with priceless artwork. Siena has charming, windy medieval streets and squares, and one of them is home of the oldest bank in the world. If you want to learn more about this amazing medieval town, check out my Things to do in Siena video in the top right corner. Of course, I didn't forget about Pisa, another world-famous Tuscan town that was a powerful maritime nation during the Middle Ages. This is world-famous hotspot due to its freestanding bell tower of the cathedral, known as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. But that is just one of many impressive buildings on Square of Miracles that is considered to be one of the finest architectural complexes in the world. The oldest building on the square is 11th century white marble medieval cathedral. Inside and out, it is full of medieval masterworks. Opposite to the cathedral is also white and round Romanesque baptistry from 12th century. Of the three major buildings on the square, famous white bell tower is the latest addition. The tower began to lean already during the construction due to soft ground which could not properly support the structure's weight. Due to wars and conflicts, it took almost 200 years to complete the tower and underlying soil had enough time to settle. In an effort to compensate for the tilt, engineers built upper floors with one side taller than the other and the construction was completed in the 14th century. Finally, we came to the very best place in Tuscany and the unmistakable medieval skyline of its capital city, Florence. This amazing city of art is known to be the birthplace of the Renaissance and holds some of the biggest masterpieces of architecture and art, like world-famous statue of David by Michelangelo. The city has impressive architecture, like famous Ponte Vecchio Bridge. Here are also amazing churches, full of priceless art, but the most famous one is the 14th century Florence Cathedral, famous for its beautiful marble facade and the biggest brick dome a breathtaking feat of medieval engineering. The city has some of the best museums and art galleries in the world, like Uffizi Gallery and Academia. Even if you don't visit any of the galleries or churches, you will still see plenty of amazing statues and fountains on the city's squares and streets. Florence also has impressive palaces, and the most beautiful ones belong to the rulers of Florence, the Medici family. Florence is truly the best place in the most charming and romantic region in the world, Tuscany. If you want to learn more about amazing Florence, check out my Things to do in Florence video in the top right corner. These were my favorite top places in Tuscany. If you enjoyed this video, please give it thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click on subscribe and turn on notification bell to be notified about my new travel videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.